All right, what's going on, everybody? Wally back with some more story time. And surprisingly, this is actually one of the more requested features next to lore in the Warlock series, and I'm cool with that. Apparently, you guys like the cringe that is my life, and I don't want to disappoint you. So I'm going to provide for you epic stories, or not epic stories, epic cringe of my life and my romantic endeavors so far. So if you haven't caught it yet, I am sort of a hopeless romantic and i'm cool with that you know there's a lot of people out there that are stuck in the friend zone and they're like i'm a hopeless romantic but like yeah okay maybe but you're not probably not socially retarded like i am or a lanky mofo like like i am and that unfortunately doesn't work in your favor most of the time if you say something super awkward or cringy the girl doesn't think it's cute or funny. It just doesn't work in your favor. So these videos are a way for me to learn from my experiences and hopefully give you some entertainment. And the story I want to tell you today was very recent. This is back in August of PAX Prime, August 2015. And PAX, if you've ever been to a PAX event, PAX is like a huge gaming showcase where a lot of YouTubers and Twitch streamers and industry dudes all go to show off titles and hang out, get drunk, have a good time, and play video games. It's pretty, pretty fun. Now, this one, PAX Prime, is generally always in Seattle, and I've been to the last two because the company I work for is in Seattle, located out of the University District, HubTech. So it made sense for me to go there since we had a couple business meetings at, of course, PAX and outside of PAX. So yeah, just was gonna go, have a good time, treated it sort of like vacation, wanted to let loose a little bit. So I drank more than usual. I don't often drink when I'm chilling here at home in California, but when I am out, I tend to get a little shmammy, a little, uh, little unprofessional, and that's unfortunate. I'm just gonna be real. The unprofessional me is not necessarily the best me. Or it could be. I'm, I'm not sure. I've yet to meet me being drunk yet. I know that I've heard stories of who I am. And uh, yeah, so I had a great afternoon. We were at Gameworks, Gameworks Bar and Grill, which is located in downtown Seattle. And they have a location, I believe, in Vegas and Salt Lake City. And I think they're bringing one in Colorado too. So maybe if you live in those areas, you know what I'm talking about. But the one in Seattle is right across the street from the convention center in which PAX is being hosted. And I, like the genius that I am, was ordering a shit ton of drinks with my boss at the time and a buddy of mine. And earlier that day, we had an opportunity to meet Mr. T-Rex, Mr. Sam. If you don't know who he is, I'll have a link in the description below to check him out. He's a Twitch streamer, does a bit of YouTube. He's an awesome guy, really, really cool, plays a lot of Destiny. Definitely a very cool guy. I got completely shit-faced when I was talking to him. He can probably confirm this, that I am not professional at all. But he's a dope dude. And so we were talking, having a good time, just getting completely shit-faced. And the girl that was serving us, let's just put this in perspective. And I'm going to mean this in the most respectful way. This girl had legs and ass for days. Just, just straight up. And that's probably not professional at all to say that, but... She was gorgeous. Let's just be real. She was a good looking lady and she had the dunk dunk and it was real and it was, it was fine. And, um, I was mesmerized to say the least. And so my buddy was talking to her and he was sort of talking to her a little bit about why we were there at the event. And I was just minding my own business. I was kind of in my phone, just chilling, being the shy dude that I normally am not trying to make a big deal about my persona or anything like that i just try to be a chill dude just relaxing right and so he goes off like y'all we're all here for a gaming event and like she's like oh yeah the the pax event right and then he points to me and and this motherfucker points to me and he's like yeah this guy's wally he's a big youtuber and i'm like no what are you doing leave me alone just let me and i i kind of just sip my beer you know and i like look up a little bit you know i just didn't want anything to do with it and, and he keeps going and he's like, yeah, do you like the name Wally? And she goes, is that like the robot? And he's like, yeah, kind of. She's like, oh, I think that's cute. And I'm still like sipping my beer at this time. And I'm like, what, what does she mean by that? Does, does she think that, that I'm cute or, or the robot or what? I, I was caught off guard because normally 
cute and wally and anything that has to do with me don't often find themselves into the same housing okay the same sentence structure so i was very much caught off guard i didn't know what to do it was like an ambush and i looked up at her and i was like uh thank you in a very uh sort of gravelly tone because i didn't know what else to say and yeah it caught me off guard so as I started talking to her a little bit, uh, I was like, yeah, we're here at the event. I do do YouTube on the side. And, you know, it's just one of those things. She's like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it here. Let me know if you need anything. I'm like, okay. And then she walks away and I was like, thank God. And I, I looked over my buddy Tanner and uh, you guys may or may not know who Tanner is. But uh, this motherfucker just has the biggest grin on his face. He's like, hey, I got you, bud. And I'm like, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. But he, like any good friend, has my best interests at heart unfortunately though he couldn't carry me the whole way he opened the door for me and what i ended up doing is taking the entire house and setting it on fire and like my other cringy stories this one unfortunately does not have a happy ending so as she comes back she's like sweeping the floor next to us and i gotta get up and i talk to her after finishing like another beer and i had the liquid courage and i was like i'm just gonna go talk to her so i go up and talk to her and i'm like and i'm like hey uh, i just want to say you know sorry for my friend's outburst and i just want to say you know you've been helping us a lot and i just wanted to just want to ask like where did you get that tattoo and i was like maybe this is a good conversation starter maybe not you know some people that have tattoos can probably relate to this that Oftentimes you get that question like, oh, that's a sick tattoo. Like, where'd you get that? And she had a sick tattoo. I'm going to be really honest. Like, yeah, it was a conversation starter because I didn't know what else to say. And I was mesmerized by her booty. But at the same time, it's a good way to just start talking to someone. And she, the tattoo was pretty damn cool. She had like a mermaid sleeve kind of thing. And I was like, so it's a like a mermaid. And she's like, yeah, I really like fish and stuff. I don't know. I've always liked the mermaids and, and cool stuff like that. And I'm like, so are you a fan of like Disney's Ariel Little Mermaid? And I was like, Disney references. Chicks love Disney references. And she's like, no, not really. And I'm like, fuck, retreat, fall back, Disney, not working. Uh, talk about something else. So I start talking about business and why I'm there at GameWorks. And this is where it unfortunately goes all, all downhill, all just just downhill into the dirt. And I start talking about why we're there at GameWorks. So the reason we were there at GameWorks is because GameWorks operates as one of HubTag's clients. And so we directly consult for them. We also provide enterprise copy of our product for them. And so we were there at the same time during that day to meet with the CFO and the head of esports director to finalize one of our business deals. And they happen to be sitting roughly 20 feet away on another table meeting with a guy from Unicorn, which is a meeting that we, I think, set up for them. And so I pointed over, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's your CFO right there. And she's like, wow. And I'm like, yeah, we're meeting with him later today. And I said that, uh, you know, GameWorks is more or less like a, a client. So it's, it's pretty cool. And she's like, wow, that's, that's really cool. And then I was like, okay, like, I don't really know where to go with this one, but like, I'm going to be real. Like she just, she was just, she wasn't like, like, what is the right way to say this with being respectful? She wasn't like super skinny, okay? But but she wasn't fat. There, she was just, she was like thick, you know what I mean? But like in the right, in the right spots, that sounds terrible, but, but that's what she was. She was good, you know what I mean? Like she wasn't bad, it, it was just great, you know what I mean? And I don't know, man, the, the legs and the booty and the arm sleeve and she had a nose ring and she had a gorgeous face and a gorgeous figure i was like i was like look is it too much to ask or i said would it be too much to ask for your number and she's like no absolutely not and i'm like i'm in here for a couple nights and i was wondering maybe you know when you get off work tonight or something like that if you wanted to go out for a couple beers and she's like no that that's actually cool so she gave me her number and i ended up getting it and and you're probably thinking like, holy shit, bro, like it worked. You may have scared her a little bit with the business, businessy stuff. Chicks probably don't dig that. She may have just given you her number because she could have feared the fact that if she said no, I could have brought it up and maybe got her fired or something. Like I wouldn't do that anyway, but you know, that's probably maybe went through her mind. So I was like, so I was like, sweet. So yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll drop you a line tonight if you want to hang out. Uh, let me know. She's like, yeah, cool. I'll hit you up tonight. And I'm like, all right, sweet. So I went back to my table. We ended up finishing up. And the bill came to me, and this is where this is where the the 
the stupidity just comes out. I was so elated, so full of emotion and greatness and happiness that I wrote in the tip, it was a $100 check and I tipped her 10 bucks because I don't know what, I think it's like 15%. And I tipped her 10 bucks, but then I wrote in the, I wrote in the tip, I said, I don't know if this is enough, but I gotta say, you are beautiful. And I was like, no. and then I and I put it away and then I put a little, I think I put a little smiley face person next to it. And yeah, man, that, that shit was just like, oh, I, I, I kind of want to like get that check back and just cut that whole thing. But the whole experience was so awkward because I'm just not very good when it comes to talking to women. I've been out of the game for so long that talking to the opposite sex now is like a chore for me. I, I stumble over words. I f freak out when I have to look someone in the eyes. It's very rough for me. And that little love note that I put at the end was just the cringe. It was like, mm. and suffice to say, she ended up not responding to my texts that night. And I could not go to GameWorks for the, the other two days that we were there because she was working and it would look hella awkward if I showed up and that, yeah, that whole experience. So when I have to go back to GameWorks sometime this upcoming year, my boss keeps telling me that she still works there and he kind of like nudges it at me, lets me know like, yeah, she's still there, bro. And I'm like, great. And uh, that's, that's bad. So I've actually shifted now uh, client management for that particular client out of my hands and into someone else who works at the company so that I potentially don't have to see that person because I just don't want to relive that awkward moment of writing love notes, talking about tattoos and just being a complete social lanky, awkward dude. So that's been my story. And the lesson I would give to you on that one is that if a woman gives you her number, do not go above and beyond what is required. If you're trying to seal the deal, wait to seal the deal with the gushy stuff six months into the relationship, okay? Not day or 15 minutes into day one of meeting this person because that is a surefire way to not meet that person later that night. So that has been the story on how not to write love notes and yeah, I hope you guys learn from that. And I hope this is entertaining because for me, it's like, it's like horror. I have to relive this. I'm literally getting PTSD from this in some ways. Like I cringe when I think about like, oh, why did I write that? Like, oh, but yeah, this is also very therapeutic for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will have another story time next week. You guys are awesome people. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel so far and I'll see you all later. Peace.